This is what makes this river so damn good. Dust always blowing about the town, except when the sea fog laid it down, and I was one of the children told some of the blowing dust was gold. Get ready for another adventure searching for alluvial gold deep into the uncharted wilds of western Tasmania. I'll be visiting one of my favourite rivers, where in previous videos I found several ounces of gold lining its stream. This time I'll be bringing some new gear, and I'll also be trying to work some of the ground out of the water, which hasn't been touched since the old timers left this area over 100 years ago. Oh, what a privilege to be back in beautiful weather and it's going to be good for the next few days too so I'll uh, take my time see what I can do with all the new gear it's going to be interesting but uh, first I better set up camp So I've got camp set up, just having a really late lunch now and I'll take all my gear and head upstream. I'm thinking I'll start up there. And that's where I got most of the nuggets in this river. Got two grammar and a 1.8 and a couple of two grammars actually. So after packing up my gear and setting up my detector, it was time to head off exploring but I figured I'd first try out my pickaxe on this crevice which had been sitting at the step of the camp for some time. Look at that, that's all, they're all little bits of ironstone. There's gotta be something decent in this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's a good bit of gold. Look at that, heaps of bits up the top too. Yes, what a ripper first pan. I tried another pan here and I'm glad I had the hand pump as I managed to get a heap of nice colours. But the results soon slowed and it was time to head upstream. So I've made it to the spot that I had in mind. As you can see it's quite flat along here. And I did get a couple of nuggets in a little hole over that way somewhere. It was in like a little quartz pocket on my first trip. So what I'm thinking is I'll just move some of these gravels because it's quite flat on either side and then hopefully I might come across another one of those little quartz pockets or maybe even just like a little overhang or somewhere for gold to trap. Nice, I've just busted open a little bit of quartz that was still left over and there's a nice little picker in there.
Such a little honey hole right here. Like, I've hardly done any panning or use of metal detector, but there's just still so much ground here that you just follow a crack and you get the odd picker here and there and plenty of little flakes. Like, ah, oh, it's awesome. I've just found this wicked little, uh, little nugget. It's probably half a gram. So good. Well, it's 7 uh, 15 now. So I've had two and a half hours here picking around. Um, but I think I'm going to head back to camp. So I'm going to see how much gold I got. I'll clean it up here and put it back in the snuffer. A lot of black sand. That might have to do. That's about it. No complaints. Good couple of grams for a couple of hours. Ah uh, well, it wasn't the worst day on the gold, and I only really got three hours or so at it. We we'll have a full day tomorrow. See what we can come up with. I'm um, thinking that detector's pretty much useless. There's too much ironstone here. Just sets it off. Can't find targets. So um, yeah, pickaxe, pan and just sniping, I guess, see what else we can drum up. Good morning. Uh, it's pretty late morning too. It's 8.30, believe it or not. I had a massive sleep in. I um, tossed and turned a little bit last night because I was cooking in this uh, sleeping setup. Basically, I had to just push the, the quilt away because it was too warm. I've got an under quilt on and it seems that that was pretty much enough to keep me pretty cosy. So, um... Yeah, I'll have some brekkie soon and head downstream, see what we can find to bust up with the pickaxe and process with the pan. Um, 
and if all else fails, I'll just continue doing some sniping. There was pretty much gold all the way down from this spot for about a K. So there's plenty of ground to, to look at and I'll just, yeah, see what I can find. smell that warm summer breeze has finally come down into the valley because it's actually quite cold down here um, I had a little bit of sun that was coming through for brekkie but now it's all in shadows again <sighs> something about that smell you get when that warm air finds its way into a cool part of a rainforest is just amazing So I was just over here metal detecting because there's these old timers trenches that they've cut in to the bank that you may remember from my previous videos and I thought I wonder if there's actually anything in there if it's just dirt and sure enough I found some hot spots that sounded like this and sure enough once you get under that bit of leaf litter It's all stone. It looks a lot softer than ironstone, but maybe it is. I guess it must be. This is normally how the ironstone is, it's really heavy solid, hard, smooth, heavy chunks that feel like metal even, but I guess that's just a thin piece. Ready to go. <clears throat> What are the predictions today? I don't know. Could be five grams. I'm guessing about five grams if I have a mediocre day on the gold with a lot of hard work, it could be five grams, but you never know. It could hit some untouched pocket and it's two ounces. So we'll see what happens. This is the honey hole. This is where I found so much gold in such little time. All along the sides here and the sides there and in the middle. She's been gone over about six or seven times now. And it's getting hard to even find a piece. From here you can see <clears throat> the awesome shape of the catch. So you've got the bedrock on that side and bedrock on this side and then you've got all those gravels there in the middle that kind of as a v-shape they make their way up 
So anything coming down gets pushed into that and yeah, there it stayed until I came along. Well, if there's ever gonna be a spot that's worth panning, it'd have to be these gravels here that are in these riffles because just down there was where I got all of that gold in my honey hole and none of this has ever been worked so I'll spend a bit of time here and I'll see what I can drum up One speck to start the day. She's all specks, unfortunately. So it's uh, 11.30 and I have found like maybe 20 specks. So I'm getting a bit desperate. I've got to get the tally up. I'm going to try and snipe. I need to get at least a few decent chunky bits before I commit to heading further downstream. Otherwise, I'll probably leave today. I kind of want to find like at least a couple of grams a day. Instantly, my luck was about to change as I found a tight packed crevice running along a gutter line which was previously covered up by gravels. Holy moly, I can't believe this. I don't know how this was missed, but. There's a little crevice that runs on the inside of this gutter and I saw it and I thought, is that being worked? Pulled the rocks back, bang, it's loaded with chunky gold. Get a load of this, I've got my phone. That is so mental. I've probably worked that much and got a gram already and I don't know how long this will go for. Oh, I hope it goes for like two or three meters. There could be 10 grams in here. All right, I'll get back to it.
Piece of gold. So cool. So I'm just stopping for lunch now. I had about two hours over there and the crevice went all the way back and then across and then there was another one that ran up the other side of the, the creek. And yeah, it was just pretty well consistent. Nice little chunks. Um, stoked, like absolutely awesome way to spend the morning I've done better than I could have imagined there's obviously still little pockets here that haven't been worked so it's just a matter of finding them and just before I came for lunch actually right under this waterfall I found a little line a little crevice and scratched out a little bit and there was like four little chunks and I've just left them under there to come and have some food and then we'll get back into it but I'll show you what I got from uh, just the last two hours here she is an absolutely epic two hours and plenty more work to do when I get back into it I'm stoked with that that could be seven or eight grams right there I reckon who knows but what a success I thought this whole river was sniped out and uh, yeah, it just goes to show you've only got to find the one little crack that hasn't been touched and it's loaded uh, such a good river one of a kind getting a bit nasally look at it beautiful well I'm absolutely stoked with the last two hours it's absolutely justified the trip like yesterday was all right, I got a couple of grams maybe, but I didn't want this to be one of those trips where you like just scrape by a couple of grams each day. And uh, yeah, I've, I've absolutely more than enough justified coming out here just from, it's from that one crack, like it's amazing what can be hidden. And the amount of times that I've walked over that, and Levi as well, like he's been in here a few times too. And uh, yeah, just 
pays to put your head underwater and just follow little cracks and see see what might lead to something because that's all that was and it ended up being a few meters of tight pack crevices and paid off. Well, she's dried up on me. It's time to continue heading downstream. So I've just come down the river. I've been floating in this pool for about 10 minutes, getting the odd flake. Found this tiny little pocket here with like four bits of gold in it. This shows you how rich it can be in the right spots. Probably about 10 bits of gold in there, nice chunky bits. Incredible. Working my way up close to the rapids, I came across what would be the discovery of the trip. This overlooked crevice would prove to be my richest find yet. Firstly, I followed it back into the depths of the pool where there was no shortage of good chunky gold.
Once the deep end was exhausted, it was time to start working on the front. This is what makes this river so damn good. So it's about six o'clock and I have had a pretty awesome afternoon on the goal. A really awesome afternoon actually. Considering uh, a fair bit of it was that first spot where I got like probably seven or eight grams. 
but uh, I'm going to have another maybe hour here and then I'll have to head back to camp for uh, dinner. But what a wicked day. So stoked with today. Back at camp. Bloody amazing day on the gold. Took me by surprise today, did like just a couple of spots that were overlooked multiple times and they were just loaded. And just like the rest of this river used to be. Bloody hell, looking at that now, I would not be surprised if I've got, looks like an ounce. I can't have an ounce. There's no way I wasn't consistent enough to have an ounce. I only worked half the day. That, that does look like an ounce though. Bloody oath that looks like an ounce. Stonker. Put things into comparison, I'll go and get yesterday's. And I'll throw it in on the side. All right, there's today's. That's yesterday's. That's got to be an ounce now. Surely. There's a lot of gold in there. And a lot of it is fat too. Here's the nugget. Good gram in that one, I reckon. This one here, very coarse, like crystalline type piece. Every bit is just so cool. The character on them. You just get overwhelmed with how many unique pieces there are. But that's the beauty about this river is every bit has character. They haven't been smashed in and flattened to oblivion. They're all chunky bits. Pickers. Nuggets. Unreal. Well, what an awesome day. Doesn't get much better than that. 
I've really surprised myself. I know I've had a lot of massive trips in here and a lot of big days, but today took me by surprise because I didn't have any expectations and I thought that uh, I'd be lucky to get even a third of what I got. So I'm stoked. It's been an awesome trip. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking I might head off tomorrow morning. Leave on a high. There's no point, you know, grinding my A off down here just to get more gold. Like I've come down, I've had an awesome, be an awesome couple of nights and uh, that's enough. And some of my stuff's falling apart. My bloody shoes, the sole on the shoes is coming off. I've worn through the gloves from moving the gravels. So yeah, I could, you know, stay down an extra day, but I want shoes to walk out of here. <laughs> So that's it. I'm gonna bunker down, have some dinner, enjoy the fire, have a hot cocoa, and then uh, get in that hammock and get a good night's sleep and hike out tomorrow morning. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little video. Pretty short and sweet one, but it's always a wonderful time to come out here and be in the forest and take home a little bit of treasure. Make sure you leave me a like and uh, drop me a comment. I'll see you guys soon.